Hey everybody, Laura Fangman here with today's Mash the Button Community Connection Edition. Today we're at Admiral Veterinary Hospital. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> uh, and we're speaking with Dr. Hickey. Would you like to tell us a little bit more about what's going on here? Sure. So my name is Dr. Stephanie Hickey. I am the owner and lead veterinarian here. And um, we're a tiny little bit hospital in the middle of uh, Farragut. Um, we've been here about 30 years. I've been the owner for four. We love when people bring their kids in. Um, we have generations of families that have been here and we're also very rescue friendly. So that kind of sets us apart from some of the other local vet hospitals. Very rescue friendly. Yes. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I went to the University of Tennessee. Yay! Um, I've, actually, <laughs> I've actually lived here since I was um, 17 and um, went to UT for undergrad and vet school. And then after school, I decided I wanted to stay in the community. I love Knoxville, love this part of the community. I went to Bearden High School um, and so wanted to stay local. So ended up coming here. So I love living in Farragut. I love the community of Farragut. Um, and we feel like we're, you know, Farragut's little um, hidden gem of a veterinary hospital. Yeah. So my favorite part of having my office here is um, being in Farragut, the tight-knit community, um, the families, the generations of families that we get to see. I just feel very blessed that um, we're here, we're in a great part of Knoxville. Um, I have clients who come from all over, but the, it doesn't be, you know, the, the close-knit um, family feel that the, the Farragut community but has. I feel like I, I'm also helping people when you can see that person smile when you take care of their pet and you fix their pet like just today um, I had a, a lady who you know took care of her very very sick dog she came back in for follow-up the dog was doing great um, she hugged me she, she almost cried she was so <laughs> ecstatic that her dog was better and um, that just made me feel really good so um, it's it, it's more than just taking care of pe people's pets um, it's having that relationship with with the people too I love so, that yeah. that's awesome <laughs> so you mentioned that you have obviously a core local client base, mm -hmm. but you have people coming from farther away. What do you think is the farthest away client you have? Um, she actually lives in Arizona. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, she actually flew in um, and had uh, a couple of her dogs um, teeth cleaned. So I love to do dentistry oh. and we do it very affordably here. Um, it was actually cheaper for her to fly her four dogs from Arizona to me, have her dentals done for her dogs, have their teeth cleaned, have an annual wellness, check up and fly home. So if anybody's watching in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. um, That's fantastic. Yeah, but I do have some clients who come from Georgia, North Carolina, and the middle part of Tennessee as well, who um, come to me for specifically for dentistry and for specifically because I rescue um, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. And that's the breed that I own and love and um, rescue. And so they come to me because I'm kind of the, the Cavalier expert in the community. That's so, wonderful. Yeah. So that's a really great. You've got two yeah. really strong niches there. Mm -hmm. We have excellent bedside manner. We don't treat people like they're a number. We're all about community. We're all about families. We're all about rescuing dogs. We um, have long appointment times specifically because we want to develop a relationship with the people and their pet. Awesome. And yeah. not to be left out, there are three doctors in the practice, correct? Correct. And one of them is a cat expert. Right, so Dr. Strong is our cat vet. She sees most of our cats, not that we also don't, but she particularly loves to see the felines and um, has a, a niche there. And then Dr. Patty also um, sees dachshunds and prefers to see dachshunds, although she'll see anything. And that's kind of her, her favorite patient right. to see. Do you see animals beyond cats and dogs? We do. Um, so we do see small mammals and exotic. I don't see um, lizards or amphibians or birds, but I will see small mammals. So we do have, actually have quite a few ferrets clients. We see a lot of rabbits. Um, and I see hedgehogs, sugar gliders, oh um, guinea pigs, that sort of thing. But most most of the exotics I see are ferrets and rabbits. I think that's so, important yeah. because not all doctors <laughs> will go all the way down to guinea pigs and, and yeah. things like that. Yeah, so, so we good. do see those too. Yeah. Awesome. So basically the takeaway is we want to love on you and your pet. And if you want that, then come see me. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Here from Admiral Veterinary Hospital. I'm Laura Fangman with the Mission Team, and we're on a mission to bring you home.